Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. Who are going to be the hidden winners of Apple's new Vision Pro product? Well, what if I told you that Sony is going to be one of the companies that's going to both make a lot of money from Apple and also be a huge constraint on the company? That's what we're finding out over the last week or so. And that's what I want to cover today. My name is Travis Hoyam. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube for all my content and check out my newsletter, Asymmetric Investing, below. And I'll put a link in the show notes to a deep dive I did on Sony specifically. So that's the company I'm going to touch on today. Now, before the Apple Vision Pro was announced, we had heard that the estimates for the number of units they were going to ship was dropped from about 500,000 units to less than that, maybe 350,000. And there was some speculation that that was because this was going to be a high price point item. But the real reason is likely because Sony, who is making the lenses that go into the headset, can't make enough. This is a very difficult product to make. It's a micro OLED display, 23 million pixels per eye. So basically a 4K television right in front of your eye. And that's what apparently gives the Apple headset the fidelity that we have heard so much about. But it's also very expensive and very difficult to make. Now, as this article points out here, Sony has been talking about this technology since a year ago, and this is the first major product. We don't know exactly what the revenue is gonna be for Sony, but this would be a great development for them to be able to show that they can make this high-end product. And then typically what happens over time is the cost to produce each unit comes down, the number of units goes up, and so your revenue and earnings end up growing over time because you develop high-end technology and sort of push it down the value chain. The other product to keep in mind on top of the lenses is that Sony could be a potential camera partner for Apple. This didn't get a lot of attention in Apple's keynote, but as part of the live streaming of things like basketball games and potentially soccer games where with Apple's MLS deal, there's actually new camera technology that Apple has developed and is deploying for Vision Pro. This is supposed to be a lot better than just the 360 cameras that you may have seen around with between two and 18 cameras on them. Some of them are like little orbs with a bunch of little cameras all around. And then those images are stitched together to create one image that's 360 degrees. But Apple's taken that to another level by using what's called stereoscopic cameras, which basically that's what your eyes do. Your eyes are able to sense depth because there's a little bit of distance between them. So Apple's technology uses cameras like that that are spaced a little bit apart and actually give you that feeling of having live natural depth. But if they're going to do things like shoot basketball games and soccer games and all kinds of li other live events, they're going to have to have somebody provide those cameras. Apple probably isn't the company that's going to want to build those cameras. So they're going to be looking for camera partners. There are only a handful of major camera companies. And so Sony is a natural company for that. I think that is something to look for in the future too. We know that they're partnering on the lens technology for Apple Vision Pro, but could they partner on the cameras in the future? I think this may be coming sooner than a lot of people think because Apple does have that MLS deal Lionel Messi is coming to the MLS in the summer. So they're going to want to get some of this technology out there as quick as possible. So does that mean that they're going to have camera partners in place? We don't know yet, but keep an eye on that. But I think the big takeaway here is that Sony is a key supplier, such a key supplier that they're actually the reason Apple had to reduce the number of units that they were going to ship of the Apple Vision Pro next year. And this is a product that could add tens or potentially even hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue for Sony in coming years, as they're one of those key suppliers, probably the only company in the world that can make this specific lens right now. So very interesting partnership there. But what did you think about this? Leave those comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow Asymmetric Investing. And like I said, check out my deep dive on Sony below. I think you'll enjoy that. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.